Hi everybody. This is Tom in the shop. And if your search engine led you to this page, it's because I'm introducing a new member of my shop family. This one is actually not only older than I am, it's older than my dad. And that's old. This is an Osterline, Ohio, number two universal mill, uh, or most of that. And uh, what I'm up to, what my project is, I'm gonna convert this uh, into a gear hobbing machine um, without really making any modifications to this, uh, this classic old milling machine. Uh, but I am gonna take advantage of its features, including the swivel table, uh, which is important for making helical gears, as those of you who find themselves here know very well. This machine was uh, built in 1927. Um, and as you can see, it's got some, some original stuff and some things that have either been modified or omitted. But the main thing from my standpoint is the four by four drive system, um, the 16 speed drive system is still intact. The mechanism itself is not rusty. It's been well maintained, uh, clearly had a full and fine life, but, uh, but not a great deal of wear in any sense that I would be concerned about. And it's a fairly good sized machine. It's designed for a three horsepower motor uh, and originally would have come with a clutch and a brake and some other stuff that, uh, that I may omit. Uh, but there's a, the belt drive and the transmission is all there. It's set up for, um, for coolant, although it doesn't have a pump, but it's got the, the reservoir and the plumbing and all that stuff. And um, the, uh, the feed box, which is uh, the transmission that, that selected the speed for the uh, mechanical table feed, Actually, it's table uh, X and Y feed uh, that this machine set up for uh, is gone. And that wasn't included in the, in the package. Um, but everything else is pretty much there. The exception is all the mechanical feed stuff has been removed. And uh, it was replaced with a converted Bridgeport electric feed, uh, which mounts to the table. Uh, which I'm not planning on using. Um, but a lot of the mechanical feed components, the gear train inside the, the knee is still there. And I think with a little bit of uh, judicious effort, I can, I can replace the mechanical drive with a, a, a stepper motor drive for my gear hobbing application. Um, there's plenty of room at the back of the spindle for an encoder um, arrangement. The, uh, the rest of it, I think, is, uh, is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to have to make some bits and pieces. But if any of you have arrived here because you have an Osterline number two uh, lathe, plain or universal, uh, that you'd like to uh, foist off on an unsuspecting member of the public, I'm your guy. Uh, if you've got one uh, and the price is right, I'll buy it uh, because I'd really like to see this machine uh, restored to its former glory. Um, originally, it would have come with a set of arbor supports, uh, which I didn't get. It would have come with a really high-end kind of uh, universal dividing head with a gear train to the to the table feed for cutting spirals and, and doing fancy intricate machine work. Uh, it's just my good luck that uh, this was the year, uh, according to what I've been able to find out, that they adopted a, a Cat 50 um, standard uh, spindle taper. So previous to that, they'd had either some proprietary thing or maybe a, a brown and sharp um, a taper of some kind. But 
you can see the the scrape marks on the ways showing some uh, somewhere but gosh not a lot for a machine this age and you can see the same thing the scrape marks on the column face um, the machine had been adapted at some point uh, for use as a vertical mill and part of the the swag that I got with the deal is this which is an Excello three horsepower variable speed head uh, it's a very nice head and I'm kind of excited about it. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it, but um, but it was part of the deal and the price was very reasonable. I also got, and I'll take you for a little walk here. I also got just an F ton of tooling with this. All these horizontal mill cutters, um, all these, all these, just a complete ton of tooling. This is a box of end mills, most of which have either been sharpened or are brand new. And uh, this is all, I, you know, it just boggles my mind. I'm still discovering stuff in the tooling. But uh, normally I don't fall into this kind of deal, but it was actually... Um, very fortuitous and I think this was the last batch of stuff from grandpa's shop and they just really wanted to get rid of all of it so I got a toolbox and a whole bunch of other stuff um, I also got this which was unexpected but I am totally stoked about this this is a, uh, a height gauge 15 or 16 inch height gauge uh, which is complete uh, in its own box and uh, that, that's just amazing um, these things are a lot of money on the internet and they just kind of threw it in so yay yay me well anyway um, that's kind of what's going on um, I will tell you that uh, if anybody out there has got an Osterline feed box, I think they were all pretty much the same. An Osterline feed box or the overarm supports or, uh, or anything like that, I'd be very interested in doing a deal. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff here to swap. Uh, tools and, uh, and fixturing uh, materials, clamps, all kinds of things. Uh, I mean, it was a... It was probably about, oh, I'd say a thousand pounds of stuff in the back of my truck. Then we had the machine on the trailer. So anyway, if, uh, if Osterline is your thing, uh, if that's what you were searching for, uh, here's what mine looks like. I'll post some, uh, some pictures to the Vintage Machinery uh, website if anybody's interested. It's still to be cleaned up, uh, but uh, it's a work in progress right now. Anyway, ta-ta, that's... Uh, that's what's going on here. And, and again, remember me if you've got one of these sitting in your barn and you'd like to turn it into cash. Thanks very much and uh, happy machining.